Hello and welcome back to another video. We are now in Osaka. So this officially is the start of part two of our trip to Japan. We have just checked into our hotel and we are so excited to be here. We're going to have more of like a chill day today. We obviously only got here on the bullet train earlier. So it's been a bit of a long day of traveling, but we're going to go and see Osaka Castle and go get some lunch and then just sort of see where the rest of the day takes us. He's been loving free PJs that we've been getting. Go and give us a catwalk. Strap your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Do you prefer these PJs or the PJs from Tokyo? Yeah, the other ones. Oh, so you prefer the little kimono and the, the trouser set. Oh, nice little oh. ankle swingers as well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just come for a quick bite to eat. We're finally trying Coco Curry, which is raved about by loads of people. So I am going to have a, basically a chicken katsu and see who's also ordered a chicken curry. So we're just waiting for that to come. This looks incredible. Your fried chicken also looks lovely though as well. Yum, taste test. incredible we made it to a soccer castle honestly guys this has been a very short <laughs> stopover because neither of us are actually feeling very well so i don't know if the curry that we literally just ate just disagreed with us because neither of us are feeling very good so we are gonna go back to the hotel now i think it's also like really really humid right now so that's definitely not helping with neither of us feeling too good so Anyway, that's the hustle, and we're gonna go home. I also hope we get off the station. This is eight minutes. Yeah. We've just come somewhere, very exciting. Just getting a drink that's included, but if you can see behind me, that is a backpack. We're at a micro pick cafe, and I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, everybody, so may I explain the rules, okay? <laughs> very very cute it was basically like a half hour experience that you're in there and you just get to pat them basically and play with them we are now gonna go for some dinner so we're walking through Dottenbori and this is what it looks like the men Stephen get and get your pics for the gram basically put all of your meat we wanted to go for ramen however the queue for the ramen was so long and i just don't want to do that we're going to try and have an early ish night tonight because we're going to be up early tomorrow because we're going to the bath so this place just like didn't have any queue and we've gone for quite a lot we're going for kobe beef wagyu uh, some raw beef some raw beef sushi like basically a lot of meat this is going to be the most expensive meal that we've done here most of our meals have been so cheap like lunch today for example was $18. This is all just cost us 120 bucks. However, we did know it was going to be slightly more expensive because it is the Kobe beef. So that's okay. But I'm so excited to try. Yeah, I'll give over to you. 
Boston awesome Bory so far seems that really really cool. I kind of wish that we had chosen to stay in this area because there's just like so much going on, like so many shops, so many food places. I kind of remember to be honest why we didn't decide to stay in this area, probably because the hotels are more expensive or something. But yeah, this place is so cool so far. Made it to Universal and I am so excited. Juan so actually doesn't like roller coasters, so we're gonna test that today and see how he gets on. So we did pay for fast track for Universal. We managed to get the seven ride fast track, but we're actually just gonna queue up for Jaws. It's only a 20 minute queue. And basically on our fast track, we've got to choose between Jaws and one other ride. And the other ride has like a 45 minute queue. So we are gonna queue for Jaws and that's gonna be our fast ride. We're gonna ease them in to the theme park life. Where do you reckon it comes out of? What did you think of it? It's good. It was good. I got a tiny bit wet from it, but it was fun. I don't know why I was obviously just not thinking about this, but obviously they narrate drawers and they obviously narrated it in Japanese, so we had no idea what the lady was saying. But anyway, we are just heading now to Harry Potter. We've got timed entry at 20 past 10 and it's 10.03 now. When would you, was that the first roller coaster you've been on in how many years? Fifteen. Fifteen years. He was screaming yeah, like a little baby this? the whole way, weren't you? Yeah, I was good up until it turned. <laughs> that was very, very, very funny. Bearing in mind this is a kid's roller coaster where some adults actually had to get off because they couldn't fit into the size seats basically because it's obviously aimed at children. <laughs> No pressure. Oh. That was bad. She said just you. Come on, I want a teddy. Last one. Good luck. Come on. Oh, where are you <laughs> show, <laughs> show us your um your participation prize. We are about to get on our third roller coaster of the day, the Minions one. How are you feeling about this one? More, uh, more, more confident. Yeah. <laughs> we, so like I said earlier, we did pay for the fast track and so far it's been great. We've literally been like just walking on to every ride and you obviously have to walk past everybody that is queuing. And even like this Minions ride has a 45 minute queue to get on. So it's definitely worth paying for the fast passes. Our first drink stop. We're trying this Jaws themed Blue Hawaiian. It's like jelly or something in there. Nice though. We're about to go on the biggest roller coaster that they have that opened today, and he is very scared. So, how are you feeling? 
Yeah, and it was just closed because there was nothing wrong with it, so it's just reopened. So we're about to go on, which is fun. We made it off. It was so much fun, and that like reminded me as to how much I love roller coasters so much. And he survived. He, you should have seen him. He was. We have these like little like, waist straps on. He was gripping on the dear life and had the glamiest little hands when he came off. But are you a roller coaster guy now? Uh, more than I was this morning. Yeah, well, you were terrified. He was very, very, very scared. It was quite a fast roller coaster, to be fair. But less screams on this one from you. <laughs> that was actually so much fun. Like I said, we had the express passes, so we didn't have to queue for that. But I really want to go on it again, but that would mean that we would have to queue. You guys know I do not like beer. However, whenever Stephen gets a beer, I always like to try to see if I can you know, make my taste buds like beer. And I've decided that I think Asahi is the only drink that I would be able to have a whole one of by myself. So, this is going to be my first time ever having a beer by myself. Again, we actually went back to the hotel just to relax a little feet rest a little bit and now we've come to an area called Shan Sushin Sakai I think it's called so I think this is like much more quieter than some of the other areas that we've been to but it's basically like was built before the war Ooh, it was built before the war uh, this isn't the one that I've seen though that I want to go to same idea um, so it's built before the war and then basically like nothing was done to it after the war happened so it's basically just all, all really old fashioned and looks as it would have looked back then. So it's just quite like a cool little area to stroll through, to be honest. They've got loads of like retro video games, uh, just like little fun things to do here. in well I say Osaka we are actually going to jump on the bullet train again today and travel to Kyoto 
so i think the bullet train is only about 15 minutes or so so it should be like a pretty quick little trip there but we're going to spend the day in kyoto and just sort of see another area of japan we've got like a few things that we want to go and see there like some touristy things that we want to go and see and of course we want to eat a lot as well so we have just finished getting ready we're gonna leave any second now but i just wanted to jump on because i feel like i didn't really close off the video yesterday so yesterday we kind of went to that shin sakai area we played some arcade games and then we wandered back down to dosanbori which was the area that we were in the night before that as well and we kind of were just like wandering around we had some more to eat i tried those octopus balls which not for me but I didn't try them after thinking that I wouldn't try them. And we also had that big cheesy cake thing, which seems like an odd combination, but actually it was really, really nice. Um, um, honestly, we were just exhausted. We've been doing so much walking, like over 20,000 steps every single day. And I actually think yesterday after Universal, we that was like the most steps we've done since we've been here. And it was probably over about 25,000 steps. So it was just like our legs were quite tired. Like we were ready to come home. So universal was so much good fun it was really really good the only annoying thing was jurassic world was closed and i was gutted because i really wanted to go on the uh what's it called the flying dinosaur ride which looked so much fun but overall it was like such a good day out good experience the tickets for the park were only i think like 80 or 90 bucks and then like i said we did buy the express pass and we bought the seven ride express pass so that was like $200, I think, or around that region. So like that was expensive, but honestly, it was so worth paying for. The ride that we waited the longest for was the Mario Kart ride. And even with the fast passes, you maybe waited like 20 minutes or so, um, which was so fun because like the actual full queues for people that didn't have fast pass were literally like over two hours long. So it meant that we got to go on everything that was open that we wanted to go on. And we got to see the whole park without feeling like there was anything that we, that we missed really. So... We ended up leaving there around four, I want to say. So like actually quite early. I think the park stays open till like eight. So we got everything done really, really fast. So we'd highly recommend getting the fast passes if you are going to Universal. But anyway, we need to get going. So I will see you guys in Kyoto. So we made it onto the bullet train. And one thing I would say, the bullet trains are really confusing to navigate around. Like to try to figure out which station you need to get onto. All of the train stations here have been absolutely massive. So it's always been like a bit of a maze. Like we always have to leave ourselves so much extra time to get to like wherever basically we need to go. So anyway, we're on the train now. Like I said earlier, it's 15 minutes to get there. And then we've got like a few little things that we're going to go and do. We haven't yet paid for a bullet train to get back so that we can just leave like whenever we're ready to leave. But we are both hungry. One thing actually, just saying this now, we keep getting fried chicken from 7-Eleven or Family Mart and it's so good. We've been having like a piece of fried chicken every single day, which seems so random, but sometimes you're just hungry for a snack and yeah, it's just been so good. So we made it to our first little stop, which if I'm pronouncing correctly, is called Hashimi Inari Taisha. But I don't know how my pronunciation is. Anyway. This seems like tourist central, it's packed, absolutely packed with tourists. But anyway, we're gonna have a little wander around. It looks really cool. This looks really like what I would imagine like traditional Japanese things to, to look like. Yeah, the clapping thing. So we are walking up. Oh my god, it is boiling. I'm literally sweating and out of breath. This is just like a solid incline <laughs> all the way up, and it's so busy still. Oh, this is like a reminder that my fitness still has some improvement to go. This place is literally stunning, though, like all of the red arches. Ah. Everything is actually just so beautiful, like it's so worth coming here. We made it to Gion, so we're just having a little wander round. The streets so far are so pretty. Now I know that this area recently, they shut off parts of it to tourists because basically tourists were being really disrespectful. So that's no good. Um, there's a lot of like geishas I guess that are in this area and tourists were basically like harassing them. So they decided to close down parts of it to tourists, which I think is obviously the right thing to do because the locals should 
get to live in their own home without having tourists harass them. But anyway, we're just going to wander around the streets and see what there is to see here. But it's so like picturesque and it's actually way quieter than I thought it would be. Like all of the photos that I've seen of this place have been packed. So we've made it to this, well I say famous, but this click that where all the people come to get all of their pics and videos of this little iconic spot. And it is so nice, it's so busy. We actually had no idea how to find this, so we wanted to rank you up for ages and we were just about to leave. And I didn't know the name of the spot, but I'm happy we managed to find it eventually. We just had to sum up ramen for lunch because this one was getting hangry and couldn't wait to the food market that we're literally about to walk to in about five minutes. So we were just wandering around Gion and we just passed a little post office, which apparently is one of the things to see here. I mean, it is very cute. I'll show you guys quickly. We've come to Shirakawa Lane, if I'm pronouncing that correctly again, and it is beautiful. It is so, so, so pretty. Like, this is stunning. It feels so, like, calm and just peaceful. So we got our... Right there, we tried some new drinks. Ooh, where's the light bulb? <laughs> By the look of your face, that isn't. <laughs> Mine is a, I mean, it's only 3%, but orange and black currant, it looks like, but it's delicious. So we've got to see a geisha, obviously did not film or take any photos but it was quite cool to see them there were two of them they were just walking on the street basically and I'm like so oblivious I didn't even realize but see them pointing them out I didn't point them out but just nudge me to make me pay attention to my surroundings for a change um, but yeah that was really cool to see we are now walking over to a food market and we're gonna go have some snacks so snacks, we're gonna just go have a little wander around the little stools and see what they put there and probably try some new foods again. We got a second can, we threw the other one away because we didn't like it. Verdict on this one? It's nice. It's nice. like a peach yogurt. Peach yogurt, yum. We've come to a sushi train called Kura Sushi, which is basically like a chai in here. And again, we're sat in like these little individual pods with a barrier between us. They said it was going to be an hour wait, but it literally took like 10 minutes. Also, I finally won at a vending machine that Stephen's so annoyed because now I've won twice and he has won zero times in the vending machine. So we won this little teddy and we're going to get some sushi now. So fingers crossed, I hopefully like some of the seafood items on here. <laughs> <laughs> An extra 10 yen per plate. So you're paying for your price. Go to play. Well, only one of us has to play, right? <laughs> so we get to play games. We're going to play regular. Yes. And every time we get a plate, we pop it in here and then we get a chance to play. This is shrimp. <laughs> How the hell are you gonna eat that? Just take half a bite. Take this up. Oh, that's good. Mm. I think I can get on board with that one. That's not very fishy at all. Oh yeah, because we like the scallop, don't we? Do you want to split those? Mm -hmm. So I just had the tempura shrimp. That's gonna be the nicest thing that I've had. Probably helped by the fact that it is in bread crumbs, but really, really nice. We just ordered some scallops. I also ordered a miso soup, which I've never had miso soup before. And I don't particularly like the smell of it, but I'm gonna try. We are gonna try. This is the holiday of trying new things, so we are gonna give it a go. But that tempura shrimp was so good. We're gonna get more of that. I also tried the this fatty tuna, which I didn't like, and I've tried the salmon. The salmon was okay, but yeah, the fatty tuna, not for me. Still my fish. We're gonna try something called albacore, which is a 
tuna again. I'm giving it a go. I'm not sure how I feel. But it is tuna, but apparently it's meant to be a less fishy kind of tuna. So here we go. Okay. I can get on board with that, I think. You gonna try that? Nice. Mm -hmm. It's not that fishy. I'm just saying something, but I'm saying it's not that fishy. Let me know what you think. It's a type of tuna called albacore. So this is my final plate that I get to put in. And then I should get to play a game. I don't know what the game is, by the way, guys. So we'll just see if we want anything. How do you play? <laughs> Did I win the game? I'm going to take that as I want. Oh, my prize. What did we win? We can collect them all. One of eight to collect. Are you jealous that I'm winning everything today? <laughs> I prefer not to speak. <laughs> we are back from sushi, guys. I am so proud of myself for trying so many new things. Even though I did not like them. I tried miso soup, which I didn't like. I tried extra fatty tuna, which I did not like. And what else did I try? I didn't like. Was there something else? I already said the tuna. Anyway, I did try a type of albacore tuna, which I did like. I tried scallops, which were fine. I liked those as well. And the shrimp tempura, which I would 100% have again. Like I actually enjoyed eating that. And then we just popped into Family Mart and we got some snacks. So I've had these already this trip. These are basically like barbecue corn. So good. So yummy. I'm going to eat those now. Then we got this. What is this? Chocolate banana pancake thing. Then we picked up two packs of these, and I know you can get these in Australia, but still. These chocolate ones, we've been obsessed with these. We've had so many packets of these since we've been here. And then tonight we thought we'd try the same, but the strawberry flavored one. So we'll give those a go. And then the final thing that we picked up are these, which are beef noodle. Well, Google Translate says it's beef noodle flavored chips. So we're gonna try those too. Good morning, it is our final morning in Osaka. We are leaving today. So we're just finishing packing up the room and we're gonna go get some breakfast. I think we're gonna go try and find some Japanese pancakes this morning. And then we've got to catch a bullet train at about 11. So we are basically almost packed and ready to leave. Okay, that's our first pancake. Do the pancake wobble. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I think that's going to be the end of the Osaka and Kyoto vlog. Not going to lie, guys, but we are quite looking forward to going back to Tokyo. I do feel like this was enough time here. We've been here for three nights and I do feel like we're both ready to get back to Tokyo. Tokyo is just a bit more hustle and bustle, a little bit more going on and I think that's kind of more up our alley. So yeah, we've had the best time here. We've loved every part of it but we will see you guys back in Tokyo. If you have made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are really enjoying the Japan videos and I will see you guys next week.